In this lesson, we're going to be creating a camera pan and also animating some camera flashes in our background. In our previous lesson, you can see that we have our skateboarder flying through the air and also our background, the monitor back there, is kind of imitating his movement. And so now what we can do is we can create our camera pan. The way we can do this is change our layers to 3D layers. So we'll just click this little column. This will create, uh, or, or it'll turn our 2D into 3D. But to really get the best effect from this, we need to also create a camera. So let's go to Layer, New, Camera. And we're going to use a OneNote camera because we don't really need a point of interest. So we'll go ahead and hit OK with that one node. And then now that we have our camera, let's create a camera movement. And our skateboarder is moving slightly up. So what we can do is we can kind of start out with our camera low. So hit P on your keyboard with that layer selected for the camera. And we're going to create a keyframe for that position. We can go ahead and move our, our camera, that position, all the way to the end. And then we can just go ahead and take that Y value. So you have X, Y, and Z. We're going to move our camera up and maybe about right here. So it's moved up to about 415. And then when we pan down, the, the, pan, the camera is, is panning up to kind of like focus more on the skateboarder. So nice movement there. But now let's create some camera flashes and that'll really steal the deal as far as this illusion goes. So let's make a new layer and we're gonna make a new solid and we'll just call this our flashes. And we'll use black for our color. So that is zero, 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 and six zeros for your hex color. And we're gonna hit okay. But let's open up our blending mode. So you can toggle your switches just to get your blending mode. And we're gonna change our blending mode to multiply. So if you can't see that there, then actually, so I'm, I'm going up and at the very, almost, almost to the top is multiply. It's just going just out of the recording area or actually, no, I, I'm not, I didn't mean to say, I meant to say add so that <laughs> we can actually see through the black. So when it's set to add, then when we add our, our flashes, then you'll just be able to see the flashes and not the, the layer, excuse me. All right. So now that we have our solid setup, we need to add an effect and we're going to add the light rays. So you can just start typing in light rah, and then you'll have the light rays come up. And we'll just double click on, on the light rays with our flashes layer selected. And you can see in your effect controls that we have intensity, we have a center. So this little mark right here, I can click and drag or I can uh, change the value with these or I can click this and then I can put it right where I want it. And I'll go ahead and start kind of here in the darkness with my first flash. And for the intensity though, let's go ahead and bring that intensity down. And before we can see it though, see this little little checkbox color from source let's go ahead and turn that off and then for our radius we'll take our radius bring that down how about to about 12 and our softness we'll take that down a little bit too so the intensity is really what we need to focus on so maybe let's put that about 50 or 53 or so and then we'll just kind of take our playhead we're going to put that just a few frames in, so about four frames in, and that will be our first flash. So what we need to do is create a keyframe for that intensity. So I'm gonna create a uh, create a keyframe uh, right where we are. I'm gonna hit page up, and I'm gonna take that intensity and turn that to zero. And then I'm gonna hit page down, so that will move back to when it's uh, at, at full speed or for full pressure, full, uh, power, I should say, for that flash. And then maybe hit page down two more times. And I'm going to change that intensity back to zero. And then when I take my playhead and move it, I should get a flash just pretty quickly. So even though this is super high speed, you're still going to get a little bit of flash and it's going to, but it's going to be pretty quick because that flash is still very, very, very fast compared to the speed of the camera. And in order to add more flashes, what we'll do is come to your effect controls and we'll just keep this one layer and we'll just keep adding this effect to this layer. So I'm going to copy, so control C and I'm copying that effect. 
And I'm not going to just paste the effect because if I paste the effect, let's go ahead and hit U right now to show the keyframes. If I just paste the effect, all it's going to do is just add more keyframes uh, or change where those keyframes were. So hit Control Z because we don't want to do that. What we want to do is add another instance of light rays. So when I double click, then I can hit Control V and paste all those settings and those keyframes again. And all I need to change is where this little, these crosshairs are. And so I can put this somewhere else in the crowd. So now when I back up, then I have those, I have those two flashes. I'm going to add the, another instance and I'm going to hit control V and then I'm going to put the, the flash over here on the left. So now we have one there, one there, one there. And then I'm going to start over again. So I'm going to hit another instance. I'm going to hit Control V. I'm going to now come back to our original area, maybe even a little bit more to the right. Scroll down a little bit. Add another instance, Control V. And this one we'll put kind of up here. So I just want to want to look like there are a few people taking some pictures over here. And then maybe two more here towards the end. We'll give it just a little bit of space. Like they maybe waited just a second. And we're going to double click, control V, add another flash, and then maybe one more. So double click again, control V, and just change that position. Maybe we'll put this one like right here at the top. So let's go ahead and get a RAM preview of that. So just hit zero on the keyboard and that will allow us to just take a look and so your eye is focused on the skateboarder, but in the corner of your eye, you can see those flashes firing off. And it totally makes you just buy into uh, the fact that there are some cameras down there. So now that we're finished with our first clip, it looks great. We have this uh, super slow-mo, high-speed camera work that we've, we've got captured. Then now we can move on to our second clip.